Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Xin and Protein X. So I'll be talking about one of the very interesting topic about the alignment of a 3D structure of two proteins by using PyMol. I made some videos on the alignment by using the NCBI online tool and also SnapGym, but that is the the linear structure of the protein. But I haven't show you any 3D structure of alignment by using PyMol. So here it is very interesting topic. So stay tuned till end of this video. And let's move on to the tutorial part. So first you have to have your PyMol. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, so you can download it in the shop in the PyMol website. So first you have to you have to open your PyMol software. So I I already downloaded two PDB structure of the human granzyme B and rat granzyme B. So I'm gonna align this this two 3D structure by using PyMol. So I wanna open one structure first. So this is the human grain B and another structure that I want to align also I want to open that structure. So red grain B. So you see here the two structures are here. The one is showing is uh, green color and another one is sky color so for the for to visualize it for conveniently so i want to change the manner of this swing so first i want to change it change it to the cartoon structure so it's cartoon structure it easily it easily visualize and also the another structure I want to change cartoon so both you see both is now is the cartoon structure so then you have to you have to hit this button to show the the linear structure of this protein so this is the linear sequence of this protein so and then if you wanna any selective part you want to align then you have to select first so i want to select maybe the small fragment of this till 127 and then i want to rename first rename selection then you can write down that human grandson B right so this is one part I already selected so another part that is a rat grandson B I also want to select that part And then rename the hit action and under this option rename selection and then you see here the, this one of box you can write down here this is a red red enzyme p all right so this this two structure I already this already selected the part of this this two structure for the alignment and then you can 
hit the action button and then under that option you, you can find one option of the align tool then align to selections human granzyme and then click this one then you can see it's very clearly so if you wanna visualize it properly so you can also change the in the selection color so I want to change the color from here this two selection color this one maybe I can change it red and another one I want to change it yellow so now it is very prominently it's showing the alignment you can zoom it this is I see here one of the this is for the the last one is this is solely for the alignment so you can zoom it then you can see it's very clearly it's showing the alignment of this structure and also here you can see the the linear structure this um, you see this part there is not is mentioning the red or yellow this part only is not aligned so rest of the other part is all aligned properly also here you can see this part is not aligned this part is not aligned but you see the red color and the yellow color the aligned properly so also here you see here this is very clearly it's showing the alignment because you see this part are all are aligned see right but here you can find also very very easily this part that is not aligned very well that is not aligned at all you can find it so how you can find it if you if you select this part you can see right now this part is not aligned right so this part is not aligned this part and this part is not aligned so that is this part so this is how you can align any 3d structure of protein that you want to so after alignment and this is very easily actually this is you can you can do it very easily and you can also use this this alignment figures for your publication purposes so for that you can also save it you can save you can save uh, image as png so this is um, this is useful to know all right